Hey there, and uh, welcome back to my channel. Now, I know I haven't put anything on YouTube for like ages just because, well, if you're like me, you have a thousand projects going on and no real focus, but hey, that's life. So, today I have an unboxing video for you because I thought I would take this channel more into my uh, other hobby, the home cinema hobby and even bits and pieces of professional sound equipment as well. It's what I do. So for today, I have a pair of speakers from a manufacturer called XTZ. It says here, the XTZ Spirit 2. Now this is a Swedish company. They design and develop all their speakers in Sweden and then they are manufactured in China and then shipped back here and I have heard a lot of good things about XTZ I've never tried them I know Audioholics tried the uh, triple 12 inch sub that they had and said that it was amazing I've read about these speakers people tend to say they are extremely well built and a lot of value for your money so these cost about 250 dollars a pair and these are wall or ceiling mounted speakers that i am going to use these as atmos speakers in my ceiling because in my home cinema uh, i have quite low ceiling and it's a concrete ceiling so i can't put in wall or in ceiling speakers so that's why i thought i would try these out so, no further ado, let's get to unboxing. Um, yeah, got a trusty old carpet knife here. Let's see, the box is printed. These are shipped from China first and then from Sweden. They are located in... I don't even know where that is. It's somewhere outside of Gothenburg, I think. I don't know. Now you can only buy these speakers online. Uh, I have no idea if they ship internationally. I think they do. Uh, but you buy in Sweden, you buy them through an online shop called Findbussen. They also have a physical store somewhere. I don't know where. The box is in very good shape. Nothing, no damages, no, no, nothing. And uh, let's see. When we open it up, we can see there are two separate boxes, since this is a pair. And hopefully there's also the mounts for it, because I ordered flush mounts. It's a special mount they have that makes you put it really really close to the ceiling and uh, without damaging the speakers <clears throat> so we'll just pull one of these boxes out first let's see there's that I would guess they are the same and then let's open it up we have some documentation there's a logo sticker or something uh, rubber distant things if you're putting them on a wall i think that's to keep them from rattling put that to the side and then we have some nice sort of foam package and oh here's the little baby in here i do like their packaging i've seen some of them before but they they are very careful with their packaging because as you can see in here lots of space around the speaker and it's even inside a sort of cloth bag in here Just, there we have the speaker it's got additional foam packaging in the bottom and I think these are 
Yes, these are the XTZ flush mounts. Personally, I thought they would be bigger, but I'll open these up in a while. So that's all. That's box. And here we have the speaker. As you can see, it's a quite shallow speaker. It's because it's supposed to be mounted on a wall or in ceiling, the way I'm supposed to use. I'm going to use it. So let's just take off the plastic here. Go. Put that to the side. There. Thought I would do it outside today because it's it's a lovely day. And the lighting is good, so <laughs> my home cinema is quite dark. So and here we have the speaker. Let's unveil it slowly. And I really like this. Th this is a matte black speaker, and it is very discreet. That's exactly what I was looking for. A discreet speaker because because of the low ceiling that I have. Uh, I don't want the speakers to stick out too much or be seen too much because if you really you can actually just barely see them in the corner of your eye. If you sit in the front row and in the back row, yes, you can definitely see them. So <laughs> this is where the logo is supposed to go. Is it here? Logo. And we got the logo here in the accessory. And I think these are just clips, no magnets. And here's the speaker. It's a looks like carbon fiber actually I'm not sure that would be a four and a half inch I think I don't remember let's check the manual German. I do speak German, but let's see here. It's a two-way wall or ceiling speaker. The tweeter is one inch and the midridge woofer is five and a quarter inch. And it's said to have a frequency response from 76 to 22, 20, 22, 22,000 megahertz. <clears throat> its impedance is four to eight ohms. It's got an 86 decibel sensitivity, so it's not super sensitive, but and it's got a power handling of 150 watts short term and 75 watt long term, which in my home theater is plenty enough. Uh, it's a it's not the biggest room. It's about 22 square meter something like that I'll go back to you on that but I digress <clears throat> here on the back just turn it around we have binding posts you can use banana plugs or just ordinary connections and you can actually buy wire these it comes with a jumper here no the jumper is yes Exactly. This is it is for the tweeter. If you want to dampen the tweeter with three decibels, you take this out, and if you keep it in, it is at zero decibel. So if you take this out, like so, you dampen it with three decibels in case you have hard walls or I will have to experiment with that and I'll get back to you after I've done some testing so these are the screw mounts I'm guessing is for the flush mount otherwise there's a kind of two-way keyhole thingy here which make 
allows you to hang it on the wall and that's I guess where you use the four rubber feet here. So let's open the flush mount as well. Let's see, okay, so no knife necessary. And see They're tiny. I thought they would cover the whole back of the speaker. So let's see what you do, I guess. that one of the pieces go on the wall or ceiling and the other piece yes exactly mounts on the speaker and then you just slide these two together so I'm guessing together here and I'm guessing this is the part of this here it's got a rubber rubberized backside here this goes on to the speaker and then it slides on like so and you if you can see this then you screw these two together here nice and there are some screws for it here, so I won't open that right now. So this is the XT. Oh, it's it's got a matte finish, so I've got my fingerprints all over it now. This is the XTZ Spirit 2. $250 a pair, five and a quarter inch woofer, one inch tweeter. Supposedly these are very good sounding. I will First of all, I'll hook them up and try them with some music and then I'll mount them in the ceiling and I'll get back to you on my impressions on the sound and the look of the speaker. As of now, I think they look awesome. But that's it for today. The other speaker, of course, looks exactly the same, so no point in opening that right now. So until next time, thank you. I'll see you and I'll get back to you when I try these out for a while.